Hello everyone, my name is Edward Dan and welcome to Ethy Vegan. Today I have the pleasure of introducing you to Antonino and Albert and they've just produced a film called Make the Connection. Exactly. We do, yeah. Yeah, it sounds really exciting. And you've interviewed over 35 people, haven't you? Yeah, like around... Um... Yeah, I think the number is growing, we keep adding people, but like, <laughs> at the moment we have 35 vegans from around the UK. And so, are these different vegans? What, I mean, what's the connection between all 35 of them? So, like, we wanted to show as broad and as diverse picture of vegan community as possible. Now, you've actually done the directorship for, d directing for this film, haven't you? So exactly. how's that been for you? Because you're, you're not vegan, but you you must have learned something from it. Yeah, well, it's been amazing, to be honest, meeting all these people and talking about something that is not my, my, like, my everyday world. Uh, it, it brought me to think about it a lot and have a, like, a bigger and deeper picture about the veganism, like a, a philosophy and... Uh, uh, way of living life and I, I've learned a lot I'm I also like trying to how can I say um, test if my beliefs are still the same or not I started like to to uh, like reduce meat consume like almost one year ago and uh, like now that I'm hanging out with this guy um, for me it's like eating vegan every day basically but I'm still not 100% I'm just like well is it worth it is not why should I do it why shouldn't uh, I don't know I'm why, like, why shouldn't you do it exactly now the other thing is you, 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 you're you actually vegan yourself aren't you yeah, yeah and why decide to produce a film like this what was the reason for a documentary yeah, well, the reason behind it is we wanted to basically combine our passion and do something towards, like, well, I would say not necessarily, pro like, that was my kind of aim to promote veganism, like, to showcase how diverse and how normal is being vegan in our times. And we, and then I talked to Antonino and we basically decided to, to, uh, do it through our passions or through our skills and we've assembled a, a, an A team of our friends who, who are super skilled in their domains, like some of them are like musicians, editors, graphic artists and us and then we all kind of wanted to create something together, vegan but also not not only vegan, but also something meaningful, something emotional, something which people could connect to. And it's very much a collaboration as well, isn't it? That you've all sort of come together and produced something that is beautiful. Well, I'd expect it to be beautiful anyway. Oh, come on. <laughs> so, but, it but, will be beautiful. <laughs> it will be beautiful. <laughs> but, but actually it's about visualising what you want. And you must have had a visual thought or concept in mind. Actually, I want to go from A to B. And on that journey, take people on that journey from, from being, not knowing much about veganism, to actually learning about actually the possibilities, the endless yeah, possibilities yeah. of why to become vegan or how to become vegan or the thought processes people have because each of us have a different journey and each, each of us Yeah, exactly. That, that's what it was our fuel. Like, yeah, that's what what is what we are the most interested actually to be honest in that film in making that film to show people's stories and as you said everyone every each of one of us is unique and has different story and like whenever I I watch like I'm a big fan of documentaries myself this is like my favorite form of a of a film I watch it because I'm interested in real life stories of people and they move me a lot so I we want to achieve the same effect with our film we want to move people and also like we want to do it through through their heart like like my theory is that like you can only go vegan and stay vegan 
and be motivated to continue your journey only if the, the message, the original motivation went through your heart. If you have like a logical re reasoning, as you said, like, oh, I'm like uh, for my health or for environment, it's not going to work completely. You're going to slip out and stuff like that. Mm. Only if you make this emotional connection and you actually feel it more than understand it, that's the only way you can last longer. So that's, that's what we want to achieve with the film. Now, for me, I, I know certainly that once I had a connection with, with animals, once I felt something, once it became personal to me, that, that changed my way of living and viewing the world. How, how was that for you? Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, as I told you already, like, uh, I've been a vegetarian for like 15 years before before going vegan and like I felt like something was missing like something didn't make sense and after I went vegan things started like slipping into place yeah, yeah working out and like yeah basically balancing out everything so I, I definitely it helped a lot in my case and you've actually decided to do this documentary but this 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 is also a journey because you've been involved in crowdfunding and now you're going to be doing a second lot of crowdfunding. I mean, mm. how has that actually been? Because you've been able to do this from your own back. You know, you've, you've, you've put your own money in, you've, 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 you've put your own time in. How's that been for you? Well, I would say at the beginning it was very hard. Like, we didn't have any money at all and uh, we were both working full-time job, he was working and he's still working in a cinema. I was working in the same cinema, then I moved for in another place. And um, we started doing like, on the on our free time, it was quite yeah, any, short. Any days off, yeah. paid holidays, anything, any we, free time. We just say to ourselves, we have to do it. So anytime it's free for us, let's work on the movie. And then Albert decided to like produce the movie as well, so he started putting his whole money and uh, the, 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 how can I say, the, the, with, with the aim to, to make it even more personal because when you when be you go, as independent as possible to when you have a, a freedom of expression. Exactly, I, I think that's really important to realize actually that we, we can do things ourselves and by doing things ourselves we're taking responsibility for that outcome you know, we're not we're not giving that responsibility to somebody else and i think certainly for me that's so important to do something that that resonates and that feels so powerful i mean certainly with 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 the book that i've written i, I know that i've really enjoyed that journey mm. and it's actually all about me making it successful. It's all down to me. If things don't happen, then, then it's my responsibility. I can't also, it was you 100%. Like, you're not just giving alphabets. Yeah, you it fuels you stronger than it would have been yeah, like if you'd be funded by other people or other people telling you what to do. It's, it's you, you know, it is, as you said as well, earlier, everything, you have a choice when you wake up, what you're going to do with your life, with your day. So it's the same with that, like, you know, this is in your hand, so how are you going to do it? It's up to you, completely up to you, and you can, the results can be amazing if you put your 100%. So are the results going to be amazing then? Well, <laughs> Mr. Director? It will be amazing, and hopefully we will be able to, to, to reach our, our goal, that is like, trying to move people in the world of like not not talk to people from the this, vegan world uh, but at the same time move people from outside vegan world by not showcasing like showing uh, that the like the 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 worst things that happen to animals and yeah, we trying don't want, to we push don't want them to shock people with graphic images we don't want to patronize people we don't want to educate people, we don't want to tell people what to do. What we want to do in that hour and a half, we want to connect to people, give them 
a, a display of uh, of UK vegan scene movement, the people behind it, and if they will decide just to switch off the TV and continue with their life, that's fine with us. If they will try to do some research, that's fine with us. If they will try to go vegan, that's fine with us. All we want to do, as Antonino said, is to connect for that hour and a half, move them, make them feel something, and what they will do with that feeling is up to them. But also, you're also presenting a choice. That's what you're, you're, you're doing. With your film, you're giving a choice to people to decide, actually, I feel resonance, I feel a connection, I want to make a change, or alternatively, actually, I don't feel that this resonates with me. Exactly. So I think that's really important what you're yeah, doing. I think, I think also the good thing about this movie and the way we try to, to film it is that we are trying to put the audience uh, in front of actual vegans, like to, to show, show them the faces and to show them that they are actually like as you are, like they are not different than anyone else. They are just, they just have ideas and beliefs and they are passionate and they love life and, and that will hopefully uh, generate that sort of empathy that will yeah. move them. Yeah, to... Basically, that at, the, at the core we are all the same. Like, um, and at the basis of the veganism is this humanity, compassion, understanding and love. And vegans aren't some like weird hippie people hugging trees that... A lawyer we're, we're not, we're not. <laughs> sometimes hugging trees is good. A lawyer, oh, can, hugging trees fine, yeah. a lawyer can be a vegan, a random guy can be a vegan, a philosopher can be a vegan, a lady from your grocery store can be a vegan, anyone, a bus driver can be a vegan, it doesn't matter who you are, you can all be vegan and lead your life as you do. So that's what we it, it all depends uh, about like it all depend, depends from your culture. You, culture is something very important to everyone, but it's not something that you cannot change. Cultural is something that is growing with Imprinted society in you from the child, and uh, it it might be like very weird in twenty or thirty years talking about people not being vegan or half of the population not being vegan in one community because that community is actually vegan and is massive and uh, it's the, the normal normality like mm, it's normalizing vegan so yeah the, the, the thing that I really want to, to to point is the fact that I am not vegan but that doesn't mean that I think that veganism is something that, that you are against it yeah, yeah it's it's just a different way to, to, to see life, different way of living life and uh, it might be the good one so just like try uh, get some information, go deeper do your research uh, exactly, try some video food as well and maybe you will discover yourself in, in, in this world and you will be happier from, why not? Why not? Yeah. That sounds amazing. Now, what's going to happen next? When, when is the film out? Um, Early spring, probably sometime in March, but like, we'll, we'll see. And where can people view the film, the documentary? Is yeah. it online or in cinemas or, or what? Our goal is to, to upload it on yeah. one of the digital platforms online, but... Uh, we will have a premiere as well. Yeah, so. there will be... Uh, a UK premiere though some of the like parts of the ticket lot allocation will be available to buy the rest will be invitations only so yeah wow and you should do some competitions yeah we'll do <laughs> it sounds it sounds sounds really exciting because I know you know for me having done my book and actually in, in three weeks time it's going to be published and for me that is just you know sort of seeing that germination from from absolutely Nothing. From your from the from your thoughts from, from the to head the, to the from paper, thought, yeah. to translate it to paper to, to have it, you know, printed. I imagine that's probably what yeah, you're going it's through like, at the moment I because, because thinking, you know when you when you first started it was just like oh maybe this is a good idea actually this is a really good idea and then actually starting the filming talking to 
these 35 yeah, guests. Yeah, travelling around the UK traveling. as well, because we went around the UK, we didn't just stay in London. Exactly, and travelling around, and now you're talking about post-production. I mean, how does that feel for you? Yeah, thinking constantly about the movie and about how to improve it and also like we are about to be done with the filming but still if there is something that we feel that is missing we will go out and, and film it. It's like it's like when you give water to your plants. You you you, you actually when you are when you are giving water at that moment you are thinking to the day after that you're gonna give it water and you like constantly growing with, with her, with the, with the plants. Mm. Yeah, from a nothing, from a tiny seed grows amazing plants. So that's what we are doing with our film, hopefully. Yeah. And, and then we will hug it. <laughs> like, it's a, like a tree. A big like tree a, and then we will hug it. Good. Yeah. But I'm, I'm so excited for you both and I'm really pleased that you were able to do this interview with me and actually express your journey and, and what you've been through and, and, and your passion as well. So, I've really enjoyed connecting with you both, so make the connection. Thank you. Thank so, you very much. And thank, thank you for inviting us. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing with so many different guests from so many different environments and learning about why to become vegan and how to become vegan is so enriching and so encouraging. So thank you so much. Thank and you. Jay, so, thank you. So bye for me. Bye. And it's bye from Avosa and bye from Antonino. Bye guys. Bye bye.